you've heard me say thousands and thousands of times that your husband, your man, others will treat you the way that you allow them to treat you. Nobody is in charge of how you get treated except you. Nobody. You have been given the gift of life. And if you give it away for somebody else to physically, emotionally, sexually abuse and windle away, that's your choice. And today is Tuesday. Every day is Tuesday. So you are choosing every day, if this is you, to let somebody take your spirit of beauty, take your power, take your love, take your energy, take your self-confidence, take your self-esteem and throw it on the ground and just stomp all over it. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I was raised in multiple abusive homes, physical, sexual, emotional abuse. I was raised on that shit. When I married, I married my first husband, which I had no business doing at all, the writing was on the wall. I was married for four months. And all I said to him after a six year tumultuous uh, relationship, where not once did he lay his hand on me, but then we got married. And I said to him, if ever you lay a hand on me, I'm out of here. And he did two months in. So I packed a bag, I moved in with a friend for two weeks, I cried my heart out and I just realized everyone deserves a second chance. That's what I decided. Everyone deserves a second chance. So I went back to him and I said, that can never happen again. He's like, no, it will never happen again. Uh, about a month later, it happened again. I took my ring off and I put it down and I walked out and I never turned back. Why? because I will not allow myself to be treated the way I've seen my mother treated, the way I've seen other women be treated and hurt and physically beaten up. I've had blood drawn from me since I was a little girl. I will not tolerate that. And if this is for you, you need to listen to what I'm saying very carefully today. This is your life. What are you doing with it? If you're not committed to you, how do you expect him to be committed to you? It's impossible. If you don't trust yourself or believe in yourself, how do you think he will or they will? You might be single and maybe people at the office are treating you like shit. It doesn't matter who you are, what age you are, where you live in the world. Your spirit of beauty is a gift. Your self-confidence, your self-esteem is a gift. It has power. It has purpose. It is to bring light and love into this world to make it a better place. You are designed to get up, dress up and be a bold light on a hill. But it is Tuesday. And your free will is a gift as well. Who are you allowing to abuse you? This is a very deep conversation and I take it head on because I know exactly what I'm talking about. Who are you allowing to abuse you? I speak to women every single week. Right now I'm in conversation with multiple women who are fearful of approaching their husbands to get into a coaching program that's going to help them to just start liking the woman in the mirror, fearful of approaching their husbands to say, I need this because I've lost myself and I don't like myself and I feel weak and it's not who I am. There are women whose husbands are having multiple affairs on them and they take them back over and over and over. You are needed if you think it's not going to happen again. There are hundreds and hundreds of women going through that in this very community right here. I talk to them every week. This morning, in about 35 minutes time, I'm getting in the boxing ring with your husbands and with your men within my mind. I'm going for a sparring session with a coach at a gym. I'm gonna learn some boxing. And I'm gonna keep your men in my mind when I focus on that. Because if you don't stand up for yourself, nobody will. My boxing and they're just gonna help you to have a really good workout and sweat off more calories and sweat off uh, more toxins out of my body. That's what I'm doing with it. That's what I'm doing with the people in your life who are abusing you, who are using you, who you are allowing to abuse and misuse and mistreat you. I'm going to get in the boxing ring in another country over here with them in mind, and I'm going to lash out thinking of you, but that's not going to change anything for you. That's just going to give me a really good workout because I am very passionate about what I do. It's a big reason for why I do what I do here at Linda Page. Nobody can take anything from you unless you give them permission. Nobody. Take off your boxing gloves that you've been fighting with against low self-esteem your whole life. Take them off, drop them to the floor, look low self-esteem in the eyes, look it up and down and turn your back and get out of the boxing ring. Walk away from low self-esteem and make a decision today 
Not that you are worthy and you are that. No, you're not all that bullshit. Actually, I don't think it works, really. I really don't. You know why? Because I work with all these women who for years and years and years have been proclaiming, I'm the king's daughter. I'm not, I'm not denying this. I am a woman of faith, of very deep faith. And I have studied beauty and scripture and, and faith, and at least uh, beauty and fashion and color and confidence from the scriptures. There is beautiful, powerful evidence about God more than just cares about what you wear. It is time, friend, it is time for you to walk away from low self-esteem, from being treated like a piece of shit, from being treated and, and mis like, like you don't matter. You are in charge of that. Nobody can take that away from you except you. It is time for you to get out of, out of this, I am beautiful, I am worthy, and I am enough. You are not enough. You are not enough. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say that you're enough. Nowhere does it say that. It says you're majestic. It says you're splendid in Psalms. It says that you are delightful. It says you are beautiful. It says you are a royal priesthood, a set-apart nation. It says you are kings in the marketplace. You are not enough. That is a worldly response to a worldly attack on your spirit of beauty. So it is time today for you to do one of two things. One of two things. Option A stay as you are stop complaining accept the decisions that you have made and allow him or her or them to continue mistreating you and abusing you and hurting you option b you rise up today right now while you're watching this video and you decide i am done i am done with this bullshit and i am rising up and i'm going to take action and if that's you, do not come near booking a call with my office unless you're serious. If that's you, go to lindapage.com and watch the video and book a call with my office and have a free consultation of 45 minutes to see whether or not you are the kind of woman that I work with. And I get to work with some of the most incredible women. Quiet, shy, introverted, withdrawn. Others are bold and powerful and everything in between. Your personality is not the issue here. Your spirit of beauty, your condition of your heart, your future, the life that is the gift given to you is the issue on the table. So option B, rise up today and draw a line in the sand and say, I will no longer be pushed around and be abused and misused and mistreated. I will not tolerate infidelity one more day. I will not tolerate this physical abuse one more day. I will not tolerate another word of criticism and hateful stuff that's coming out of his mouth one more day. I am a woman first before I am a wife, before I am a mother, before I am a businesswoman. And go to lindapage.com, book a call. And let's you and I get serious, only if you're serious. I'm not going to fight for you, unless you do. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been speaking to someone this morning, helping her. I am not going to make a decision for her. I gave her an option. Two women, actually. I am not going to fight for you unless you do. And if you do, Look at me. I come from Scottish Braveheart blood. I will be alongside you every step of the way. You will not go this journey alone. And you will learn to fall in love with the woman in the mirror. I did that by myself years ago. It is possible. You can do it too. Over to you.